On Wednesday, the Minister of Health, Dr. Jen Rutha Cheng, revealed plans to introduce two Ebola virus disease Sudan trade vaccines to counter the current Ebola epidemic. These efforts might fail to achieve the intended objectives if government does not invest in effective sensitization of the masses on the need for and the efficiency of vaccines. This is the message from a report titled Hesitancy on COVID-19 Vaccine Uptake in Uganda, Understanding Community Perceptions in Kampala, Mukono and Wakiso District, released by a consortium of health red civil society groups led by Afia and Ahaki. According to the findings of the study conducted in September 2022, widespread lack of confidence in the safety of the vaccines and the integrity of vaccination procedures and actors in the COVID-19 vaccine value chain greatly contributed to vaccine hesitancy in the communities. Although uh, there was a lot done to have the vaccines available, despite the global challenges of inequity in these vaccines, there were a lot of efforts made at the country level to have the vaccines in the country, but there was little, little done on communicating to the public to be able to, uh, to, to, to receive. In early August, the government revealed it was to destroy about 1.2 million vaccine doses if they remained unused by the end of the month. Health facilities normally receive vaccines from the Uganda National Medical Stores, but due to insufficient demand, they are left unused and expire. Discussing the research findings, Professor Segane Musisi from Makerere University College of Health Sciences called for Afrocentrism in the drafting of vaccination messages if the public is to improve acceptance. The study report also found complacency hard set in with people in the community considering COVID-19 to be a problem of the past. Another cause for vaccine hesitancy was long distances and long waiting hours at vaccination sites which influenced people's choices to be vaccinated. Professor Segane challenged government to involve cultural and religious leaders in reaching out to the populations. Once cultural leaders were involved, people went massively to the vaccinations. You leave them out, people become suspicious. The report noted that programs should conform to the human rights-based approaches to health which requires that vaccines are acceptable to the public and are made available, accessible and are of good quality. Additionally, those who do not want to be vaccinated should not be punished for it. Elijah Turiagmanawim, Habat Siriazi, NBS.